I'm April, I'm the suitcase designer. I help people turn chaos and clutter into functional spaces they love. I'm an expat, but this year I've been living in the States. You've seen me working in my in-laws 100 year old home, but now for my final USA project, I'm going home. In this series, I'll be doing some extreme decluttering and organizing in the house where I was born, helping my parents in the small town of San Angelo, Texas. My parents' house does not always look like this, but what my mom refers to as the depression room is a result of dealing with family tragedy just before the pandemic hit, and then being a healthcare worker in the midst of the pandemic. Slowly, the room just got out of hand, and it was much easier to just close the door and forget about this room rather than tackle it. The last video that you saw, we ended super late. And by the end of the day, I was like, no more, no more. I was just overwhelmed. So we slept in this morning and we went and ran other errands around town just to, like, we really needed a break from decluttering. My only real goal for today is to clean up the floor in here. We're going to start at Target this morning, which is one of our fun errands just to decompress from all the declutter, which is a weird step in the process. Usually I would never buy design stuff before organizing, but we're kind of rushing this whole process. So things are gonna be a little out of order. Also, we just really need to break from decluttering this morning. So let's go to Target. do this one I love the texture on it and then we're both leaning towards this color this one's so soft yeah that's a pretty color I was just thinking that that one's pretty it'd be so soft but they don't have that in the color you could do white no no okay <laughs> nope okay I think this is what we're thinking this is not the same color but a similar color to all of the walls that we're painting and then the cabinets as well and similar floor. We're doing a very monochromatic look because it is a small space. I'm thinking this for the rug. This is shower curtain and then we have white towels. We have just two towels and then we're thinking this look together is like a classic beachy but whenever she wants more fun for the hand towels she can do that which is kind of southwest but also beachy too. We ended up getting way more than we thought. I brought a lot of organizers, but she really needs a better Lazy Susan. Hers is super old and very rickety, and it's not clear, so it's hard for her to actually use it because she can't see. Then we just grabbed towels. A peek of what's coming. We tried the rug and we love it. I think we're just gonna retile this with sticky tiles. My mom really hates the floor in here and would love to have it changed, so I think we're gonna do that. And then the wall color, we've pretty much decided, but we need to get paint samples tomorrow. Um, and then what is to come tomorrow? Hopefully. I'm gonna start working on this closet. Wish me luck. Let's put this.
This was my first cat. empty. task I'm going to give my mom is to <laughs> go through, pick up whatever she was going through yesterday so that this corner can look neat again. And I'm going to try and tidy up some of this and see what else I can put in the closet. This is all of my mom's essential oil. She's really into that and she has like all of her resources. She reads about it a lot. So I wanted this to be easily accessible where she could pull it out if she needs to. So that's all oils. Um, we have some like mailing stuff back here. This is something of my dad's that he just said he wanted to keep. So I just put it down there because it was easier. And then these are all photos. This is art supplies for my dad for painting. Um, because he's going to retire soon. He painted a lot whenever I was a kid. And I think he wants to start doing that in retirement again. So I left this shelf up here for painting. When I got here, my mom just didn't know where to start and the piles were just so big. It was too overwhelming for her. Right now, we're getting 80% decluttered and we're just doing a very rough organize. A lot of these boxes of patterns and stuff, I'm not going through them right now, but I'm getting them more organized for her so that she can go back on her own later and do them. But she feels like, huh, I can do this on my own. And then she can be the space maker whenever she declutters even more of her stuff later, but it's gonna be like roughly organized now. That's what I'm trying to say. This was all, I think my Nana stuff. So I gotta go through that. And then this has actually been organized. I just don't quite know where to put it yet. He's still looking for my mom. She's outside, buddy. You didn't see her go outside. This is Christmas stuff, so I think I need to clear out space in the living room so that we can put it there. This is a set of table and chairs that I don't know where to put. And then this is like behind this print. My Nana painted that actually. Behind all this is a ton of prints. 
and frames that they're going to take out of the frames and then hopefully get rid of a lot of them and that will compact down. I have yet to go through all of this. Ah. Change of plans, we had to stop and eat dinner, but now we're back and we're very tired. We're tired of doing this room. I wanted to do a power hour, but my mom said that's too much for her. So she said, let's break it up into 20 minute sections and then we can have a break in between. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Ready? Yep. We're starting at 20 minutes. Just put the chairs back here because they do need to keep them and they need to be able to access them and this back here. So I think uh, this won't be here. It'll move after we continue decorating, but all she'll have to do is roll this out, which is easy to do. didn't really take a break, but we're gonna press 20 again. to hold it up and you just say one of two words keep or go go, go. go. that can go it gets sparkles everywhere it's too small uh what about your tiny stocking <laughs> no it doesn't go go this is fun <laughs> that i like to keep because keep uh, empty box. Go. A picture of a heart. What is this? It's a tree. Tree. Okay. So, uh, 20 minute ended, so we're gonna do it one more time.
already died while I was doing the time lapse. But the exciting thing is we put all of the cards in one drawer. She has to organize it later, but they're all there. And now we have two empty drawers for office supplies. We're almost done. I think we can just push through and finish this. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. This is a David's bridal dress from my junior prom. Lovely. And I also, I wish I had somewhere to wear these. This was the one that we made. When I was a senior, there were no dresses that I liked. Sounds about right. Surprise. So we decided that we would make one. I designed it, my mom made it. I like to say it was pretty cool for 2005, 2006. 2006. I made that three times. <laughs> My IBS was acting up. <laughs> yes. Do you want to keep this? I'm okay letting it go. This was another dress you made for me. I don't know when this was. It was did like. I make that one? I don't think it's like, I made yeah, that you did. The thing when I was in junior high. That one's really pretty. I think it goes all the way up here. Oh, lovely. It's gorgeous. Oh. This was my poodle skirt, probably from like fifth grade. With it's fun though. That's yeah, you cute. made this. Oh, maybe it was for Halloween. That would make yeah, a lot of was. sense. Yeah. Did you make this for me or did? See, my family's always been a very DIY family. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> One of my aunts made all of these for the girls in my family. This is kind of a classic one. I wish we had another bow. As a little bow in the back. And this we can also let go. This is my high school letter jacket. Okay, it's a little muscly, but. It's the last box of donations for the night. Before I show you the room, let me show you um, all of the stuff in the living room that we have, it, it's still worse before it gets better in the other rooms, but there is a purpose. Let me show you really fast. Uh, so this is all donations. We have more donations in the car for tomorrow. We have two papers and we have just a bunch of electronics that um, like my dad needs to go through. This, we already talked about that. So I just found more patterns. Okay, these are papers too. And then this is all the course of, oh, we could put the rug in there later and then Dirk won't fall. You can have a rug, buddy. I feel like today we finally rounded a corner and I feel like there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Like getting the floor space freed up more. It's like a huge mental victory. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We have about three and a half days left to work. So I will see you again on Sunday for the next installment of the series. Bye.